Hey, Virginia. You know, I know you guys are transitioning from those 2010 handheld wands to these new tablets. Right. You know, there's five things I want to show you that I know that will make your lives a lot easier. Okay. Let's check it out. First of all, from this main screen, you have this little screen brightness screen. Just touch on that. It'll become either a little dimmer at night, much dimmer, or much brighter during the daytime, full sun. That way you can read it easier. The second is over here, the all apps icon, or I call it kind of the Rubik's cube. We touch on that guy and you can go to Zonar settings. If you touch on Zonar settings, let me show you a few things. It'll be like lots easier. First of all, we have Enable Driver Cache. This will hold a certificate that will allow you to easily log in your, to your tablet for 30 rolling days. Meaning that if you use your tablet every day, it'll be good for the next 30 days. However, if you do not log into this tablet for 30 days, you'll need to re-establish your certificate on this tablet. Meaning it'll take a moment or two longer to log in. Virginia, now that we've enabled Driver Cache, go to Pin Lock Delay, the next one down. Touch on that. Usual de default is five or 10 minutes, but make sure you set it for about an hour. And that way the tablet will remain active during longer periods of time of you not using it. This will not affect the battery as it only is an effect while the tablet is docked. The next you can do Virginia is take your finger and swipe down the tablet. You can open up this particular screen. I'm opening it up, you can also manually manage your screen brightness. But more importantly, if you touch on the little gear icon in the upper far right, it'll open up your settings. Touch on display and then look for font and screen zoom. Touch on font and screen zoom. One of the things I like to do is I like to touch on gothic bold. That will make the text a little bit stronger and not change the font size. If that's enough, say okay. If you need a little bit more, go back in, font and screen zoom, and just make the text just a hair bit larger, but not by much. If you do that, they'll start changing how the page lays out a little bit more than you might like. Touch on okay. And you'll even know the screen looks a lot different than it did just a moment ago. Hit the back button over to the upper right hand corner of the screen or the home key. Takes you back to the home screen and you're set. This will be great. I can share this with our drivers. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Virginia. All right. We'll talk to you later. Sounds good.